What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Digga Digga, a.k.a. Dirty Harriet, and you checking out ThisIs50.com. Yo, we Bob Digger, what's up, what's up, what's, what's up? up? We've been trying to do this forever. I know we have. We always shooting the breeze. Man, let's go ahead and like, let, let's uh, let's come out swinging. All right. Man, what you think, in your in your mind, what was the dopest shit you ever done in your career? Oh, that's the easy one. The Michael Jackson 30th anniversary. That That's that's hands down. That was like, once I did that, I felt like I reached my pinnacle. I was like, I ain't got to make no more music. I done shook Michael Jackson. That's man. crazy. I... How does that even come about? Me and Spliff Star was talking about that shit last week. And every time I watch it, I'm always, when you when you pop up, I'm like, yo. It was the last thing you expected. No, I was not no, expecting Nobody that expected that. When I got off stage too, um, Dougie said to me, <laughs> Dougie Fresh said to me, wow, that was a nice surprise. I totally unexpected. Um, how did it come about? Well, apparently, and, and because I'm rapping on Heal the World, it seemed like such like a, 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 a odd collaboration, but um, to my understanding, I was requested. So, you know, I was feeling crazy because I didn't even think Michael Jackson would know who I was or, you know, if he wasn't the one that personally requested it, you know, the, his handlers well, time out, had time to let him. If he didn't do you it, know, who I'm gonna did? Just, I'm going to just put that disclaimer out. If he, he had to approve it. Who? So whoever put the bug in his ear, you need Rod Digger in this program, he had to, you know, he had to give the final go ahead. So I, I ain't got I'm going to just say just Michael say that. was sitting back bumping dirty Harriet, and he felt like he wanted me to rap on Heal the World. Come so, on, man. So now I that's crazy. Yeah, man, I was so gassed. That was like the ultimate. Um, my what's was crazy. I did a, a Essence Awards, and um, my mom thinks that my highlight of my career was when uh, Oprah Winfrey introduced me. She like she's naming all of the people that's getting ready to come out and perform. She's like, "Hey, young events, and raw, and raw, not raw. She called me raw, raw, raw digger." My mother Roger rants and raves about that moment to this day. Like, can you get the footage of when Oprah said your name? I'm like, so of all the accomplishments I've ever done in my in my career, the fact that Oprah said my name <laughs> That's crazy. Was, the, was the most significant to you. But it's, you know, different, I guess different scenarios touch different people. But for me, it was definitely Michael. Now, do you know, you, let's talk about your experience with Michael on stage and then whatnot. Uh, is that the first time? that you met him or is there a rehearsal that, before y'all talk or? There was a rehearsal. There was a rehearsal, but that was my first time like ever physically even being in his presence. Um, there was some back and forth like backstage, but, but you know, he's shuffling and stuff. So it wasn't really the, the time to stop and say, hey, you know, hey, you know can I, can I, can I? Yeah. Right, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> but um, when, the, when the program wrapped and he, uh, I don't know if this was on camera or whatever, but he did, like, everybody kind of lined up on stage, and he just came down the line and shook everybody's hand. And I was standing next to Destiny's Child, and I'm, you know, at that time, they were larger than life, and shook Beyonce's hand, shook my hand. He kept going down the line. Uh, uh, she and I looked at each other like, Oh my God, Michael Jackson! And I'm looking like, wait a minute, but you Beyonce! <laughs> I mean, Michael just, you know, he just has that effect. Phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. And, and you didn't have uh, uh, more moments like that, even in movies. Um, wow, now. Tell make, me about that. Okay, making the, now I'm gonna tell you, it was real crazy with 13 Ghosts. I went, or I originally set out to audition for Baby Boy. I, I took that trip to California to be to be in the baby mama. boy um not the mama um uh cuba gooden's uh little brother girlfriend right right the um yeah the, the girlfriend taraji's home girl right right um and i thought i had it in the bag it was like okay how hard can this be hood chick you know compton what have you and i did not get that damn role now the day I'm leaving, I'm hung over, I'm pulled up. All I could do is just lay in the bed until it's time to get in the car and get my flight. I get a call from my agent, like, can you swing by this office 
to uh, audition for 13 Ghosts. This was a 13 Ghosts audition. I'm like, I can't even, mm. like the room is spinning. I was like, okay, yeah, okay. And I get there. I mean, anything that could go wrong did. For one, I couldn't even keep my, I, I, I was so like exhausted when I got there. I get in the office, I get these sides. I'm looking at the sides for the first time. And I just, I couldn't make sense of it. Like the words was moving off the page. And I tried to run through it a couple times. Was not good. I said, okay, let's 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 start over. I just balled them up and literally improvised the audition. Two days into it on Sunday, I got the call from my lawyer that I was most likely getting the part. And then I got the official call on Monday and I had to be out on Tuesday. Then less than a week, I, I was living in Vancouver shooting 13 goals. Damn, how long is the shoot? Uh, took us, took us four months to shoot it. Never had any acting experience. Never had a acting coach. Literally, the first day of set was an action. Ah! Like I had to take off running down the, you know, running down the hallway screaming. But shortly after that, we did the, um, we did the Carmen, the hip hop. That was fun. I loved it. That was fun. It was Robert Townsend directed it, right? Right, right. And that, Beyonce, you know, that yes. was my, you know, my music peers and... Um, Beyonce was there again. Yep. <laughs> We're all living, you know, in a hotel shooting together. She was literally in the room next door to me, so got cool with mom. Who used to come in there? Was JB ever come? Come on. What, was buddy? Come on. Nah, you know did what? Did you remember Chua? Was nah, he come? Nah, you know what? The hub... Her okay. parents had her under lock and uh, key. They no, know about that. She, ass. Yeah, cause she was. I think she was still a teenager at the time. She was like 19 when we. Yes, did, she was. She was younger. She when was. we did Carmen, I think I, I might have slipped up one time and was like, "Hey, girl, we about to." Uh, cause I used to hang with Joy too. Like, "Hey, we about to have some Bailey's milkshakes." She's looking at me like. Mama. And because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm forgetting that she's still a minor, and you know, moms and dads looking like, "Hey, girl." Nah. She, Hold on, who's Joy? Who's the other girl? Joy Bryant, the um Joy Bryant, yeah, the yeah. girl that played Fifty Cent's um, yeah, Love she, Interest and Give Her right, to That's right. right, and that that was my first time meeting Joy and working with Joy. Her fine ass. <laughs> She's so cool too. That that was like my, you know, that was like my 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 buddy. We we basically. You still got a number? Yes. Come on, man. <laughs> I do, I do wonder though, you know how my music career could have possibly gone different if I would have, you know, went on that tour. Cause I, I think most of my like lyricist lounge relationships, you know, the roots, most dead time, like a lot of people don't really, I, I, I guess if you know me, if you, if you know my early history, then you're familiar with the outsiders and the lyricist lounge. But you know, a lot of people really you know, just associate me with Flipboard. Like they kind of really don't know what was going on before that. Like I had my deal before I even met Buster. Let's I, talk about that, cause I know. Yeah, I, I was a signed artist already. I was originally Q-Tip's artist. And there is a part of me that always wonders, shouts out to Q-Tip, yo. He, he literally like saved my life. Like he signed me in my eighth month of pregnancy. Like I was able to get that signing bonus the same week my baby was born. So yes. Shouts out to me. That's what's up, Tim. I, I, I delivered him some music, and then that week I was actually headlining a Lyricist Lounge showcase at, at SOB's, and, and he saw it, and, and I just, you know, I tore it down. Eight, eight months pregnant, three o'clock in the morning, hair sweated out, had my, had my one piece of uh, dicky jumpsuit <laughs> ready for the stage. Where I could Not to it. mention the fact that I'm fresh as hell. So and, I mean, no, you, you want to get those female <laughs> lyricists out. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, hey, so let's let's go back to the outsiders, though. You ever see them? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I see them every day. You know, we all still in the hood. I, I um, everybody's. Uh, I was just telling somebody that you know everybody's like older and kind of disbanded. Like we actually spend more time chilling than like as a music crew. Now let's talk about that paying it forward and whatnot. You have a uh, hip hop workshop. Yes, I have a hip hop workshop. Um, What's it called? <laughs> it's a, I I call it I call it hip hop history 101. 
Um, it is a part of the North Youth One Stop Career Center. This is the, I guess, when we were growing up, what they were called like speedy jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, this this is where kids come that, you know, just need help. They need jobs. They need, you know, they need direction. So they come here. They go to Job Corps. They go. This this is the office that handles all of that for the city of North. And since 2009, I have been trying to put together different workshops. Like one year, it was a video editing workshop. Oh, I want to teach kids to edit video. You know, another, oh, I want to do music. Um, I think a year or two ago, like I was doing a fundraiser for a, a, a community center. I wanted to put like, I wanted to create like a break in, uh, like the movie break in, like a dance based community center. Like I, they run in six week intervals. Um, group of 15 kids at a time and do all kinds of things with them. I got to bring some up here, you know. I like to take them out of the city, um, take them to serious, you know, take them to a label, take them to the studio, uh, Music Choice, Vivo, just so they can see these offices and, and, and get inspired. Get it right. Get no, inspired. It's real. They right next to it. But I, but I teach them everything. Like I, I teach them hip hop everything from past to present. Like they can they can recite the message <laughs> backwards and forwards right now. But I, I think that's important because hip hop is really the driving force of today's youth. And I, I feel like a lot of them want to get into it because they think. It's gonna save their, you know, they, they're getting into it just to get rich. Yeah. But I feel like they need to, you know, it's a it's a history. Like they they need to learn the history. Like they don't need it for their, you know, for their lives, but I I think that cultural enrichment real you know, is a is a added necessity, especially if this is something you're trying to get into. Like we got so many, you know, kids who are actually, you know, doing well in school. They're not dropping now. They want to be a part of it, too. So we had to create weekend classes. We had to create after school classes. And, and they're going really well. I'm, I'm about to start the, the second cycle. And well, did you, I really appreciate you stopping by this fifty and giving us that. Thank you. And this is going to be not the first, but many of uh, yes. our sit downs. And you coming to 16 is better. Yes. There it is right there. Yes, you, and you know what? You should bring the kids. Okay. That'll be dope if you Oh, yeah. See, they need to see that. That's yeah. right. That's my guy. Yeah, Thank it's you. like I always say. You just can't say you're real or something. You got to be my digger. We over. We out of here. Yeah. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Pop. <laughs>